So we got a call for a suburban that is way up on the mountain, stuck in the deep snow, up by Loa, Fish Lake area, somewhere up there. It's also disabled, which is gonna be fun. We called Robbie, we said, hey man, we need some help on this. So he's got whiskers, he's gonna be meeting us in Loa in three hours. We gotta get on the road right now. I'm coming too today. It runs a lot better when it goes in the closed loop. Salami, Gatorade, and a beef jerky. You got a pizza and a beef thing. I have lumberjack bowls for me and my dad and beef jerky. Get enough snacks so you don't get ornery. I want muddy buddies then. Okay, I'm ready. Maybe these ones? Oh yeah. This is a really long receipt for a Maverick. <laughs> All right, we are finally on the road. I got my sunglasses so I don't go snow blind. Now, let me introduce you to the team. Jake, communications. Colby, reconnaissance. Colin, pyrotechnic. Tom Tom, counterintelligence. Caitlin, classified. And I'm the Dread Pirate Roberts. I just talked to Robbie and verified we are meeting in Loa, so that's still the plan. And that reminds me of a song. Well, we're driving down the road in my blue steel truck with the Bombay on the back, and we're having good luck in Loa. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, that's enough. This is kind of what we do on trips sometimes. This one's pretty fun. You should turn up the music. No. <laughs> hey, just check it on your status. Okay, we're just slightly ahead of you then. We're about five miles out of Loa. Is there a store there or something? Um, hopefully. I don't remember. I'll wait for you at the first best store. <laughs> it sounds good. Okay, thanks. That was Robbie. I should have sang him part of my song. We're almost to Loa. L-O-L-A, Loa. Hey, Loa. Hey, Loa. Welcome to Loa. It's L-O-A. Actually. Da, da, da. <laughs> so this is the town where Ed was born. He was born premature and they kept him in a shoe box in the wood burning cook stove like to keep him warm. They weren't gonna eat him. No. You gotta clarify. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it was a thing to be nice. Well, that was Ed's incubator. He was born right over there. Yeah. So Robbie is a few minutes behind us. So we're gonna take the opportunity to fuel up for our ride home. Hey. So we need to go over how you take care of one of these because this was very expensive, oh, all right? I did not. So always ah. grab by the top or see. you hold it like this. <laughs> Does this it fit? One? It will. We're going to have to steam it. Oh boy. <laughs> what did you guys do? It's for Wednesdays. Yes, it's for Wednesdays. <laughs> On Wednesdays she wears pink. <laughs> oh, hello there. It's not a unit. Now this is the unit. This isn't pretty. Bombi is. Look. You've got, uh, okay, we're going to go hit the slopes. Hopefully there's I snow there's on snow. the slopes. We've both got all-season tracks on. Well, mine are certified all-season. Robbie's are all-season. All okay, right, let's, let's go. go do this. So the snow is looking a little scant out there. The customer described it as a lot of snow and snowing when they left it. And there was no way anybody could get there without a snow cat. The weather report is three feet of sagebrush. But here's the, here's the deal. Here's why I'm still happy. I put all season tracks on the Bombi, so it's not gonna matter if there's no snow or not. I just wish there was snow. Tom brought his snowshoes. I have my snow pants, my snow shoes, my snow, my snow socks on. Your goggles? I do have my goggles. Not only that, Tom brought his snow survival pack. And I want to use it bad. Doing a little ice fishing, I bet. Oh! No! <laughs> I think the road's closed. <laughs> what do you want to do here? Do you want to break the law? Break the law. Break it. Let me talk to Robbie. So it looks like we're about four miles out. Do you want to just break the law or do you want to unload here? Because the road is closed. Breaking the law, breaking the law. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I'm okay with whatever. If it has snow on it, driving up there and back is fine, but I don't want to drive it on pavement. I say we go until we have enough snow that it's worth it. Okay. 
You hear that, officer? It was his fault. Oh, I know a song about this. Around the road close sign they go, a mountain road of ice and snow. They'll probably blame their GPS, but still they'll make that call. So unless things take a turn for the worse, like greatly, we are just gonna drive up to this Suburban, load it on the trailer, and leave. This is not the snow recovery I was promised. How are you even gonna load it on the trailer? We have ramps. I mean, you have a Bombi on the trailer. A Bombi's gonna have to drive home. <laughs> oh. I'm hoping the pin is right, but I'm also kind of hoping the pin is wrong and the Suburban is actually stuck somewhere. Here's the thing. If we drive to it, at least our snowcats got to hang out. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Robbie's always looking on the sunny side of life. Say over, over. <laughs> that is true, over. Copy, over. Just... Out, over. Who's our communications <laughs> expert? Oh, oh yeah, that, that's, that's Jake. Who's on I gotta hang on to my hat. Matt's driving crazy. <laughs> Counterintelligence is finding none. <laughs> All right, we have passed the pin. It's not here. So we are going to pool our knowledge and see if we can figure out what's going on. There's no cell phone service here. I think that pin was pretty approximate. I think he just went on a map and picked a dot on this road. So you want to just keep going on this road? I'd say I, just keep going. It's I going think, up. Yeah, I think that's... Okay, tell him that we're just going to keep going up. All right, I'm pulling over. Well, I let off the gas and that was a bad idea. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We're just going past you real quick. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> real quick, eh? <laughs> yeah, real quick like. Okay, I don't know what to do except for go exploring. The best part about today's adventure is if I get stuck, the person I would call is already here. Ah, uh, ditto. <laughs> yeah, so snowcat life. That's right. I didn't choose the snowcat life. The snowcat life chose me. Oh yeah. Oh, she's back, baby. She's back. We cut. This had all these like lateral tractions. We yesterday we cut them all off. Like 25 or 30 pounds of them. We there just cut like off. There were like 200 of those things on here. This is my first time in a Palm Beach. Oh, really? Right Never here. ridden in this thing until today. This is so cool. How we doing, Tom? Fantastic. We're in whiskers, and this thing is cool inside. It's super big back here, which is a little different than the Bombay. Oh, yeah. Whiskers is coming. I'm going to do my job and do some reconnaissance. <laughs> this thing's sweet. We need one this big. Bombay's tiny. Let's race. Over. We're racing. Race. Oh, we're racing. Be prepared to be humiliated. <laughs> You're right. Over. Let go! Oh! Oh! See ya! <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not sure what the race was, but I feel like we won something. He <laughs> <You> did. <laughs> that thing is like a missile. We grabbed second gear, it's gone. <laughs> All right, well, let's just mosey up here looking for a Suburban. Okay. It was awesome. That's like a B-17 bomber, and this is a P-51 Mustang. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Matt, we got some wires melting, so <laughs> we have an issue. We're stopped. What's the issue? Fire. No, we're, we're in the pre-fire stages. Everybody calm we're down. Smoldering. Wait, do we... All right, we're going to come back and watch the fire. Uh, at least we're all here. That's what matters. This is the turnaround that I'm used to. Flashbacks. It's still turning back. 
better. Did you get yeah, it out? Well, I see, I see what's, they're pre-melting, but I wonder if something's wrong with the alternator. We'll let it cool down for a minute. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Christmas. That was a fun little a good Christmas, eh? one block ride. <laughs> is, is that just feeding your dash? How dumb. We're not dead yet. Right. This wire right here. I think it's pulling too much. See right here, just got hot. Yeah. We stopped before we had a fire. Okay. But, yeah. Are those cables still here? Well, why don't we just load everybody up at the bomb and go? I agree. I think that's a great idea. And then we can mother this one back. Yeah. I cool. think it, I think it's a terrible idea, but I think it's our only idea. <laughs> it's our, it's our only we'll, have, we'll have fun either way. Hey, you know we went from the comfiest, best ride to the worst ride, because now we're going to be hanging on to the back of the Bombi. Yes, we are. What's the most people you've put in and on Bombi? I think today we're going to break whatever record it was. This is ridiculous. We can fit four people on the back seat. And we can fit one in the front where there's no seat. And then the rest on the back. Well, let's load up. Find a seat. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think this is going to be too many people to steer. So we're all in the back of the Bombi. This is getting dumb. <laughs> but that's Are we all, all right. ready? No. We're going to be safe. We're ready. fine. This is why I wore my snow pants. <laughs> ready. Oh, that means, I think, the, I think the beating on the window means they're good. <laughs> you look like you're good. That's the brakes. <laughs> oh, that's cold. You guys are like a big windshield. Thank you. Oh, I got good service here. Oh, I just got a text. Oh, gotta undo your wires. Okay, so let's call. Colt and I are on the back of that thing. We're soaked. <laughs> it has one option in the back. If your feet are cold, just stick your feet in front of the exhaust. Oh, yeah. Quirks and features. Seven miles past Mill Meadow. Mill Meadow was the one we just passed. What do you think we are, like four Three? or five? Yeah. Just keep going. A couple more miles. Okay. Whoa, yep, we're good. Good enough. Dude. Oh man, he's up against the guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yep. It's not working very good, is it? What if you put it in reverse and hold this track? Well, that won't. And try to pivot the, uh, the top side. Then you can. Hold on, they're banging on the roof. Tell them to stop banging. He's rubbing. It ain't gonna hurt that car. It might hurt the track, though. It might hurt the track. I'm not worried about the guard. Really. Dude! Matt, stop! Let's shed some weight. Jump out! Just jump clear of the tracks. Yeah. I want to see somebody do a flip off of there. <laughs> we got ourselves in a situation here. You, sir let's winch let's winch over yeah. to a tree okay Go forward. so this is recovery number one yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. that's the problem oh, that's in your boots we have now. actual yeah we have actual snow here that's things just got exciting just all needed. right well that was Did it interesting slide off or well it, i sucked him we're just way overloaded i think that's where this those guardrails come in handy for oh this. yeah that's kept us out of the tree no, no, <laughs> yeah. okay all right Tighten up. Okay, go easy. Beginner, I'm just a beginner. We should put a student driver know. magnet on this.
back up. There's ten of us! <laughs> I'm going, he's not! Oh, hey! Did that he's see him. Oh, yes. yeah. oh, what a gentleman! That's right. We're not, we're not getting home. I knew he'd come back for me. <laughs> hey, it hasn't died yet. No, it hasn't. That's a good thing. It so, hasn't you died. If you get rid of everybody, you could get out of here alive. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's yeah. try this again. We learned something, hopefully, and that was to stay out of the powder when we're loaded this heavy. And uh, I don't know what we learned. <laughs> we avoid the guardrail. Yeah, avoid the guardrail. Robbie's rewarding me with a snack because we got out. Things are working out right now, and that's about all we need at the moment. Now we're past all the jokes because we're kind of getting cold and wet, and we're kind of just trying to make it through it. We're in survival mode. We found it, or Tom Tom found yeah, it. Yeah, right here. here. Get ahead, iceberg. Wow, that thing is buried. Buried. Man. Holy. It's gonna be a workout for us. Don't worry, I got on my snow socks. Oh, this is gonna be some work. I think we should just pull it backwards. I'm just gonna drive back and forth and pack this. We don't want to start it yet. It's got no belt on. Because it. it's got no belt. Here you go, Tom. So. I'm gonna drive back and forth for a second Try and, and just pack down. this down. Do you so, want us to do some digging in here or do you think you'll pop them out? I think we'll pop them out. Let me drive forward really quick. Okay. Keep. Stop. Tom, you were dressed for this. I don't know. Yes. I anticipated this. I hoped for this. Play jump rope in yeah. kindergarten. the belt. Belt's right there. Power steering pump is still hillbilly. Why don't we put their belt back on? Let's do it. Stop. That looks like it's ready to go. Okay, go back side the on the water pump. Right. I'll go around power steering. Just open. Oh, power steering's broke. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it on. That'll at least give us like a few minutes of being able to do something. Yeah, that's not gonna last long, but it might last a second. So I wanna get past this deep snow and up there on that corner, it was really shallow and that's where I wanna tip it, turn it around. How's it looking in here? All uh, tangled not, up? Not promising. Power steering pump is broken. Right. So we're just gonna put the belt on for a minute. We won't need it once we turn it around. It's all downhill, isn't it? I think so. All right, well, let's see if it starts. Okay. Key. Right there. On the dash. See, it? you're wearing goggles. It's making your life difficult. Oh, it's behind the steering wheel for me. You mean behind the goggles? <laughs> it's got gas? That yeah, that pulley stalled. Yeah. That pulley's binding the belt. Yeah, the okay, so let's it. just take the belt off and run it without a pump just for a minute. All right. No belt. Hey, go ahead and start it. Oh, hold, hold on. on. Nope. Don't start it. <laughs> That's right. You said start it. Pass. Pass. Okay, start it up. Just put it in reverse. We're going to see if we can bump you out of here. Okay. I want all the strong boys on the front pushing. <laughs> Whoa. That was solid. That was close. <laughs> Just working. Oh, he's drifting. He's drifting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll come right around now. Stop. Turn back a little bit while you roll forward. Your legs. Take a snow bunny. I'm leaving. <laughs> Jeez. 
Okay, kill it. Thought about leaving all you guys for a minute, but I stopped. How's your temperature? I'm a little hot right now because all that pulling you did. But no, the, it hasn't hit the gauge. Like I haven't okay. hit 100 degrees right now. Okay. I'm wondering if this should just scat down till you the gauge is like normal and then shut it off and, and then wait. shut it off and then we can pull you through it'll there. it should stay pretty cool Probably robbie 40. painted me one heck of a pulling machine hey thanks robbie the yellow it's is all strong. the engine yellow is strong and the tracks and, and it looks good doing job. it yeah. paint job just adds horsepower we should load a bunch of people in this so, hey all the people that were in the back Ride yeah. with me. Yeah. I got you guys. Come with yeah. me. Yes. All of you that are home. outsiders, hey, Matt's yeah. emotional support team, you. feel like you don't have a place that you belong. <laughs> right here. <laughs> These are your members. people. I have your place. Gather up. Awesome. Feel that, Caitlin. Ooh. Two more nice, huh? Wait, didn't people say the fan, pusher fan, would not work? Yeah. I don't know if it's working or not. We don't have any gauges. It's running. It just carried 10 people six miles. Yeah. I know that we need more shrouding. The, the thing about all of my cooling systems I design, I never finish the shrouding on them. Do we all feel good oh, about feel life? Great. Uh, yeah. I don't know about Tom Tom's driving. <laughs> Buckle up, man. <laughs> hey, Robbie, you smell that? That's the smell of wires not burning. Oh, ouch, I'm gonna scratch it now. You guys smell that? That's the smell of Robbie burned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes the Suburban. Yeah, you got better. it. You got it. Come on, girl. I feel luxurious. Now we're heading heads. to the drag races. Hang on to your hats. Matt's driving. Oh, this does handle better. Come on, it's got to make it up this hill. I'm to the floor. Well, come on, girl. Lock her into second, trust me. Oh, come on, eat. Okay, I'm backing up. Hang on. How hot are we? We're gonna make a, one more run, and then we're gonna have to wait for him out anyway, because we're at, we're at temp. I'm about 210. Yeah, you're just past operating temp. It's not gonna crawl this hill. Saw, it, saw it, saw it. We're giving her all she's got. That's it. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna overheat good. anyway. All right. Shut her off. Neutral. We're down. I'm glad we did finally find some snow. It was not looking too good there for most of the trip. Here, let's put this on the end of it. This will make it. All the weakness of an open hook, but none of the convenience. Okay, Tom, I think you might, might want your help until so we get going. Fire it up until we get to the yeah. top of the hill. So, then yeah, I'm going to stay in neutral and just turn the key yeah, off. Yeah, straighten your wheels out and back up like three or four feet. Yeah. Okay, everybody got to get in because we're going. <laughs> Uh-oh. Time out. It hasn't died yet. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everybody calm down. Okay. I don't know what that glitch is, but we gotta get it fixed. Yeah, this, we just gotta wait for it to clear out. So this intermittent break is brought to you by the Off-Road Games. If you have not gotten your tickets, head to offroadgames.com and get yourself some tickets and come hang out and you can see Bombi in real life. And you. Oh, and me too. I'll be there. That is true. We're going into troubleshoot mode. By the time we take this off, we'll lose. It'll, It'll be clear. Yeah. Does it clear that fast? Yeah. Do you want to leave it off in case that happens again? We Throw could. It'd be nice to know which code it's throwing. <laughs> okay, Tom, I look for the padding. number. Well, I just oh. want to point oh, out. Oh, you're all green. It should fire. No, it's two yellows. Well, there's no reds. Do you think the moisture might be doing it? Could be. We don't know. There's definitely there's some definitely there. some moisture on there. I mean, all those terminals should be like watertight. It's We've incredible. had them way wetter than that. And it was giving us trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if it dies again, About you need to jump it. out and see run. Which, which one it is. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, yep, we're good. And we're off. Okay, it's red and then red. blue. Oh, I see it barely. Yep, my goggles aren't helping. It's break time again. This intermission is brought to you by Robbie Layton Nation. You scratch it, they'll patch it. <laughs> we like that one. Red is the lower number. Okay, so you've got eight, seven, six. Eight is blank, blue is seven, red is six. 
So you gotta wait till red's gone. Right. So but is there anything we can do for the routing of our cam sensor? The cam position is the easier one to change. Yeah, so. So I'm thinking it's just a bad sensor. So you think it'll limp us home? Yeah. Okay. It'll, it's very. You know, you've done more limping than any of us. Yeah. So it's looking like we just have a bad cam sensor. We were thinking it might be shielding and we added some shielding, kind of like your tinfoil hat you put on your head to stop you from getting your mind read by aliens, and I but think it's it not working. It, it definitely helped. helped. It helped, it's running better than it so was. So let me tell you. The aliens when, are still getting in. When I rerouted it, that helped. That, there, was a, there was a marked change. Okay. And then we added shielding. shielding, and that was a marked change. So we keep moving in the right direction, but it's But still, I still think it's fundamentally broken. We are yeah. gonna start this thing up and just tear out of here as far as we can. Then he'll limp along and reach us and pull us the rest of the way. Okay, we're just gonna drive right by and get as far as we can before we heat up again. Hey, do we have a radio? <laughs> See ya, Tom. Like <laughs> we just gotta let it rest. We're just not letting it rest. <laughs> oh, he's going. He's going. They are getting it. Everything, bud. I told you. Come on, buddy. Uh, I'm shut down mode, aren't I? We're done. That's as far as we made it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> Don't worry. At least we're within walking distance of blue steel. <laughs> yeah. That's a long ways, though. It's a really long walk. <laughs> I see your one eye come on, and that gives me hope. He's moving. Nobody's on this radio, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I do this a lot. Oh. That's, that? that backfire is what happens when his engine just shuts off and goes lean really fast. Well, it's never done this. This is new? This is new. That's what we were just talking about. We could go bypass those burnt wires and get it to go. We could. Go, 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 Bye. Go, go, go. Someone goes that door. Everybody just calm down. I'm back, baby. My big toe on the left foot. Um, I'm not going to get hangry this trip. I brought a lot of snacks. Dude, we've been snacking like crazy. <laughs> Why, yes. Are they yes, in? Hopefully. You're, oh. you're my rear view mirror. Oh. Should I go jump it and get it started? Oh, they've been running. Oh, it hasn't been charging. You can jump it, get as far as you can get it. Okay, is there a place to tuck this? I guess the belt's not running, so it could just lay right there. Okay, Aren't we've sore. lost our four wheel drive. Fuse was in those, right? I think, because they're electrically actuated. Well, it's not lighting up into. Let's check the fuse. fuse. Let's check a fuse. Make kill it for a second. That's Sad, good. Sadly, it um, looks fine. Matt. That's yeah, good. Sadly, it's fine. It? What's your plan here? We're just going to try to get this thing straightened out. So, we lost the four wheel drive in the Suburban for some reason, and it's not a fuse. Every giggle for one more <laughs> step you make. Oh, and it's over. <laughs> this is recovery three now? Of the day? Yeah. I lost track. Bombi. Suburban. Okay. Bombi. I think that's enough. Is it throwing a toad? Yep, there's a red. red. There's a red and green. <laughs> You've got a red code. I'm just looking at terminals, make sure they're not getting. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Green, green. Red! As soon as you crank, it goes red. All right, so 
since we don't need everybody here to watch this thing break down, Robbie's gonna take a crew to Whiskers and see if they can get Whiskers fixed good enough to come and maybe do some good. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. I don't know why we didn't grab a spare cam sensor. We just should have done it. I think it's just a stupid, bad new cam sensor. So, oh, Tom, Tom doesn't want to go help <laughs> Robbie. Tom wants to This walk is a recreational his... opportunity. Hey, you know what? Whatever works. He's our emotional support, Animal. Tom. Yeah. And he's, he's going to snowshoe all. while we all struggle. I've been wanting to use so we these. Taking them a while. Yeah. That one's still weird. I got to get my snacks before I leave. Oh yeah, Tom. Cooking. Bye, Tom. Bye. Listen, all you have to watch for, if the bombie's running, you need to be in neutral. Yep, got it. And just try to get this straightened back out on the road. We have a few miles to go. We are hiking out of here so that we can get to Whiskers, try and fix Whiskers, get back in here, drag these guys out of here. It's a uphill and got a long way to go. We're doing it. What are the odds we can get Whiskers going? I think pretty good. We stopped before there was a catastrophic failure. The wire was just kind of smoldering. Yeah, it was hot. All right. So we can maybe put two wires in that leg or something. I think so. If we just share the load. Yep. Okay. We just got to get there. I say send it. And we're just gonna keep doing this. This is working. I don't have an awful lot of faith that Whiskers is gonna really help us a ton. All right, I'm making pretty good progress. Just trying to keep a nice steady pace. I think uh, Robbie and the gang are back a pretty good ways. I'm just gonna push through, get to Whiskers. This is where the bombie slid into the side rail. I'm guessing I got another half hour to go. Not too bad. Come on, old girl. Show me what you got. Okay. I'm ready to be up this hill already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I found it. Whiskers is right up here. I'm gonna jump in there, see what's going on. Try to figure out what we can do. Get ready for Robbie and his crew to arrive. I'm guessing they might be about another half hour, so I got a little bit of time. Make sure the winch doesn't bunch up. All right, I'm eating my apple. It's a little tart. And I'm trying to figure out what wires down here are burning up. There's a red yellow one that looks really melted and it looks like it heated up some other ones and melted a bunch of stuff. So I'm wondering how long I could drive if I put this together. And do I even know how to drive this? What is this? Get out. We're gonna start that. I'm gonna get a run. We're gonna go as far as we can and then see if we can get that next delineator up there. Can we do it? Right. I don't know. Hey Tommy guys. Boy. How long you been here? A few minutes. I got an idea. I was hoping you had an idea. We've been pondering. What if we just bypass all that and we hotwire it? We could do that. Just hotwire straight the coil. If we can do the engine and alternator, I think we'd be we'd be good. Sitting pretty. Progress. It is already 4.30, I think, now. And so that distance is huge. Even though it didn't seem like much, that is gonna be the difference between us getting home in a few hours or the next morning. <laughs> let's do it again, but this time let's not get sucked off the road. Me and Jake couldn't see nothing. The shell was covered. <laughs> Robbie's gonna fire this up and see if it'll go. This still Fingers crossed. 
Nothing. Whatever that wire was that we unhooked. <laughs> it was important? <laughs> yeah. It's quite important. All right. Well, now we're either mm -hmm. going to... Jump the coil no, and let's jump to try something no, else. Let's, okay. So I've lost steering for a different reason. My front axle is locked. It just <laughs> stops both sides equally. When I was pulling you up the hill, was one track spinning and the yeah, other one wasn't? Yeah, one was spinning. It got spinning enough, it welded. I want to check the oil in there. I've been a little bit suspect about how much oil made it into that differential, and I never double checked it. I looked at it a couple times to do so. I don't know if anything's melting right now, but it's running, so I think we got to get up the trail fast. Is it heating up or are you feeling good? It's not heating up. Let's go a little yeah. ways and yeah, just see. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, we're going to jump Order. in the back. Is everybody in? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, let's go save the day. If you found anything stupid, I'll shut it off. There's plenty of oil in there. Yeah, it's full. Well, that wasn't the problem. So, while we do have plenty of traction to go forward, we are we're just going straight. Definitely just overcharging. So, this yellow wire is now getting hot. Can you see the voltage spiking on your gauges? Oh, yeah, it's going to 16. Okay. Um, huh? We can either unhook or cut the wire that goes to the alternator. Yeah, how long will you and run just without use an alternator? Ooh, quite a while. We, and then we can hook it back up. Let it charge. Yeah, just let it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. We only made it like one minute up the road and it's already overheating. I've got a lot to learn about Bombi drive axles. We've got, we've got to do better lubrication if we're going to use one. That makes sense. I mean, it, I still can't believe it seized like that. How far till the top of the hill? See the H? That's where I took off from. That's us. Yeah. Where's the road? Right here. Okay. And that's still hill. Still hill. Still hill. Oh. We got a lot of twists and turns for a Bombi that won't steer. Mm -hmm. see, but see if we could get the speed. Suburban up to a little bit flatter spot, we could drive, drive it. Drive it down. I'm going to see what's going to happen here. Okay, hop in. There he goes. Come on, Bobby. The alternator was overcharging. We unhooked it. We're just running on the battery. It'll only do that for so long. If we make it to that, we can use the jump box to get ourselves out. They're telling me that this whole thing doesn't have a lot of electrical load, so it should run a long time on just the battery. Nothing. Great, really. Yep. I don't know. Is it skidding the other track too? No. Okay, we have one kind of track. We're gonna try to get you in the middle of the road and then shut it off. If I stop you, shut it off. Okay, let's go. Still running? Did you shut it down when I said shut yes. it down? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Can I at least open this up? Yeah. Just let it cool down. What is that? Just yeah, that's just coolant. It's it's hot. Is there any coolant in the back of this? Uh, we've got water. We can. So let's just let it complete, completely cool down. Um, let me just keep bumping you in neutral. Let's just keep making it up this hill. Well, this is why the right brake's not working. This fell right out. There's nothing that can hit it. Oh, 
Okay. We can drive the Bombi back. I hate giving up, man. I'm like Joe Dirt, I don't have no in my heart. Okay, let's um, just go tear that down. Let's get in the Bombi and drive it. Let's get, let's regroup. It is currently 5.23 and we so, left the yard at 9.30. So if Whiskers was here, we would have been working this so hard. Well, I flew too close to the sun. Go ahead and call me Icarus. I thought I built a good Bombi and I did. I did build a good Bombi. She's got a couple bad parts. I don't think that Ford 9 inch is going to work for a drive axle. We might have to get a, man, I don't know. <laughs> Want to go to hydrostatic? Okay, load up. This is how we steer. This is how we were doing it last time too. Is this what defeat feels like? Yes. <laughs> this means at least we can still do it, right? Supposed to snow next week. Whiskers! 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 Yeah! <laughs> and we just came around the corner and saw the Bombi coming right at us. Well, there they are. He's chugging along. Is it worth going back and getting it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. With Whiskers, I'd park Yeah, this I would thing. leave this. Yeah. No. I don't, do you think Whiskers has enough scoop I, to yes. pull it? Yeah. In low range, I think I'll pull it. I think this will pull it up the hill. This barely won't. So here's where we're at. We are on borrowed time. Our alternator's overcharging. That's what our issue was. So we have the alternator disconnected. We have 12 volts still, but we'll pull until we can't, and then we'll use the jump box to and keep we've going. Got our jump box. Yes, that's what we'll need. Okay. So is your sensor okay? It's running great now. Well, we just met two local kids that are, that are headed to a Napa to get another sensor. Okay. Let's go get this thing. We're feeling pretty defeated. Man, am I happy to see Whiskers. Hey, hold Wait. on. Whiskers, hey, man. Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Yeah, I'm hitting it. Oh, boy. So let's just keep going. He'll follow us. If something happens, we'll come back. We'll come and get back. You. Yeah. All right. Let's saddle up and go. Now we're gonna really catch some speed. I love speed. Doing a pretty good job tracking. <laughs> We just made it back to Blue Steel. We're gonna go find a spot where there's no snow so Robbie can hook this thing up with his wheel lift thingy on his wrecker. See, look. <gasps> what? Pull your nose around. Yeah. Are you still here? Okay, we're on. Okay, lock it. Engage. Okay. Can you drive yet? Why don't we just go grab whiskers and pull? Yeah, them? yeah, let's do that. Right there, straight back. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Looks like you've done this before. That works pretty good. Okay, you gotta roll forward. <laughs> roll in. Perfect. There you go. There you go. You got a full drive shaft? Yeah. So we had to take the 
on an automatic transmission, when you're pulling them, not on a trailer, you you have to pull the rear drive shaft or else your transmission and charge case will be garbage by the time you, we need to go. So we're sitting here at the Blackbird Diner in Richfield, and I don't, I don't know if we said anything about this, but it was about to close. Like we came in like 20 minutes before it closed, a tin top. So they have been super gracious. We took care of the waitresses already before the, the service. <laughs> and we took uh, yeah, and we <laughs> took care of the cooks. So we got food coming. Everybody's excited about it. Robbie finally picked what he was gonna eat. I almost had to call Very Robbie's nice. mom to ask what he likes <laughs> because he didn't know. There was no pictures on the menu. <laughs> How am I supposed to choose? But he persevered, he figured it out. Like he, got, he ordered something. <laughs> well, we're gonna eat some food. Then we're gonna high five each other, and then we're gonna drive home. You look exhausted. Well, I'm just feeling really bad about the bomb breaking into tiny pieces. <laughs> that that hurts me. I've got some ideas though. So what I'm realizing is the side gear thrust surface is just not robust enough to handle those kind of speeds with the amount of lubrication that it gets. So we're either gonna have to re-engineer that or completely come up with a different drive system. <laughs> And that's what I'm thinking about right now, and that's why I look so, well, I mean, I'm sad my body broke. You think Robbie's gonna forget about this? No. Oh, no. Every phone call is gonna be like, hey Matt, remember that time <laughs> up on the mountain when Whiskers rescued and saved your bacon? No, that's no. what I'm gonna have to listen to the rest of my life. We are almost at the end of this day. We've got three hours to drive. These guys have an hour, plus you've gotta drop the vehicle off tomorrow. Classic Robbie, always finishing what I started, but that's why we keep him around. Thanks, Thanks for watching. I got sick of having wet feet. And they're jammed in the back like a kippered snack And we don't even know if we'll make it back from Loa Hello, hello, hello